Hey, howdy everyone. Uh, Cedar here. Back in action to tell you some sad things in a freaking parking lot again. Because that's what I do now. I talk in parking lots. When do I find time to talk elsewhere? I don't know. But the parking lot has to know. It's all empty inside, just like me. I mean, not really, but you know. There's cars in the parking lot. Regardless, there is some news that I haven't exactly been stating. And the worst came to worst, or I guess the worst came to best. Basically, um, just sort of... <sighs> I was in a relationship, and we broke up. And that's what I've been dealing with all this time, along with all this other stuff. I wanted to tell y'all for a while now, but I wanted to have the right moment to properly say it. And just, just really be able to deal with the situation, but it just didn't come out that way, unfortunately. And in all honesty, I, I don't know if it's for the best or not, but I do know that um, it kind of ended in a mutual fashion. And by no means am I ever trying to grill this person uh, and publicly and whatnot, but emotions get high and whatnot, so sometimes I say things that are not the best. If you ever do look at my social media stuff and whatnot, um, by all means, I don't harbor the biggest, like, anger towards this person that I was dating at the time. And for the most part, I will say that I enjoyed my time with this person to at least have the first kiss and have um anything after that just make out sessions and whatnot it was it was nice it was something that i never thought i experienced in all honesty and i at least got to experience it and while i didn't go all the way the way that i would like to um it was at least something i, I will say that much i don't think our relationship was healthy in the sense that we wanted it to be obviously because we're broken up now i feel like largely we were two people of the same sort we were both bottoms in the end and frankly what are you gonna do with that service tops just don't break it man they just don't and yes i, I was the bottom trust me on this i, I was i suppose i'm kind of shelf shelf selfish as the bottom i don't know what to say I really don't. Because I suppose, in a lot of ways, my little driving force and whatnot, <laughs> maybe it's a power bottom, what they all been stating before. Oh, well, such and such. I kind of doubt it, but whatever. I don't even really know what it means to be a power bottom. I suppose not even to what a bottom means. I mean, I know what it is, I know effectively. But to be it, to become it, it's something else entirely, I suppose. I mean, I'm being a little too philosophical for this stupid thing. I want to doubt it one bit. But it's what I've been dealing with, and I'm not happy with the situation. I don't, I don't think anyone's happy with a breakup. Not not in the right sense of just like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm out of the relationship. Good for me. No. I'm more so like, I feel like I wasted my time. I feel like I wasted the other person's time. I didn't feel like we communicated as much as we did, and I don't care if it's a stupid-ass learning experience. I would rather have just a one-and-done-it deal. And that's what I wanted. I, like, full out. I, I wanted to be a super selfish, greedy person that was just like, I got it all in one, one hole, one shot, one kill, all this really cool stuff, and it just didn't happen. It makes sense that it didn't happen. Statistically speaking, it was totally not going to happen. But... I would have loved it to be otherwise, I'll tell you that much. <sighs> I hope I don't look like really weird to these people. Because they're like they're parked in the car over there and whatnot. Either way. <sighs> this is what I've been dealing with. As for the actual relationship, how it started and whatnot, I suppose I should say that, right? Started around sometime in May. And then we all started hanging out on Fridays because I was like, I'm going to take Fridays and Fridays off for early May and, and for the end of, uh, till the, near, near the mid June, 
near the middle of June and it was going to be fine. I was going to be able to work on a bunch of videos that I wanted to work on for y'all and I would have had a grand old time doing that. And then it just plopped right into my life. Um, a friend um, pretty much hooked me up with one of their friends. They're like, hey, you two are this and that. Let's see what happens effectively. I don't know if that friend is going to be mad at me for all the situation of breaking up with that other person and whatnot, but for the most part, I will say, um, we got along smoothly. We, we, the whole entire relationship worked astonishingly well in the beginning. It seemed like we were both just kind of like all for it and everything, but then, well, I suppose to say, I can't read people as well as I thought I can. I moved other to the other side because it was easier for me. Um, but anyway, suffice to say, can't read people. Not at least as, as well as I thought I could. I, I thought I would have been much better with it, but I wasn't. I did some things to her that she didn't like. Didn't realize it. And then the whole thing just kind of blew up. Just, just fell apart entirely. We stopped seeing each other as much as we used to. We stopped talking to each other as much as we used to. We stopped doing all these things as much as we used to. Now, I don't know about y'all, but for me personally, when it comes to these things, I don't like to be bothered. When it, when it comes to, like, I'm mad at you, let me be mad at you. I don't want to be bothered whatsoever. So, if someone's mad at me, I give them distance and I don't talk to them unless they talk to me. It's a fair point, yeah? It's it's fair. That doesn't always work, obviously. That's never the best dealio. But when the other person also doesn't want to participate in certain things or they get carried away or some other things happen on top of that, things out of their control, it doesn't bode well for the relationship. So... It was an active spiral of these things conspiring against us that effectively made it so our relationship probably just ended sooner rather than later. I'm sad to say. I think I saw some warning signs in the earlier days when I was just like, I like this, this, and that about her, but... Or I like this about her, but... I like this about them, but... 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 You just don't really pick it up as much. Or at least for me, I didn't, because, you know, it's my first relationship. I deserve to at least have some way of just, like, I don't see through it. I just want to focus on the good. I do. I did. And I will admit, y'all, this is the first time anyone's ever actually been interested in me. I liked it. I liked the chase. I liked the whole entire fiasco and whatnot. But as time went on, she just didn't. Just didn't chase as much. It happens. Uh, honestly, I'm kind of sad that it happened so slow, so just kind of stopped. Because it felt like our momentum was like super high, like super duper high, like we could not have stopped in the situation. But no, we stopped dead in our tracks pretty much after one day, one argument, one fight. I don't think that it's a particular, like we didn't have like the... Uh, unhealthy relationship when just anything would break it but we did have it to the point where it just it couldn't survive anything big happening and something big happened and it's not her fault it's not my fault it's not anybody's fault honestly it just happened I don't like the way that relationship ended I hope that it wouldn't have ended that way and yes we ended it via text that was probably the worst thing to me I really didn't want that. I would have settled for phone. We weren't able to do that. For a number of reasons. Just been dealing with it, you know? I got really sad at first. I did. Because admittedly enough, I felt like the relationship wasn't working out. I called to pretty much almost do it. Found out something else. Now I'm just like... You know, like, I just wanted things to not end that way. I wanted some fight, some gusto out of the situation. Just, just sort of a like, no, but I want you. 
no, don't leave type of situation because you kind of need that. You need that in a relationship. You need it to the point if someone doesn't give up and we both gave up. I gave up, but I still wanted something. They gave up and they wanted something else, I guess, or they felt like they weren't worth it, I suppose. I don't see it that way, but I can't justify them having their position the way they do. I'm not going to say that they, they feel what they feel, you know? I can't stop that. It's fine. We can't take back what's said either, so... It's done is done. We just have to work through it if we ever do go through it. I sound like I'm not friends with this person anymore, but... It's going to take a while to actually be back to friends again. It just is, at least for me. I don't bode well with this kind of situation. I really don't. I don't mean in the sense that like I get into a fight with somebody and I stay mad at them forever. Just this in particular was just like a big downer in terms of like, oh, it ended then. Not just like, oh, it ended in a big flame of glory or, oh, it ended in such a, a terrible tragedy. Oh, it ended because we both got really, really mad. Just fizzled. It, it just fizzled. I get it. Things fizzle. I just didn't want that to be us. I didn't want that to be me in my first relationship. I didn't want that at all. And that's what it was. I certainly hope my next relationship, if I ever get into one, because honestly, I'm still, statistically speaking, I'm thinking here, and I, I don't think, I really don't. I would like it to be more romantic. This one wasn't as romantic. It was more naive and kiddish, I would suppose. We were both kind of not experienced, so that made sense. I don't need an experienced person, but I need someone that, you know, wants to love me. I need someone that I want to love. I need somebody that wants to fight for me. I've something I realized. Some people don't have that and that's fine. I don't blame them. In fact, that's one of the biggest reasons why I was just kind of like, if I continue this relationship, I'm only going to hurt them because I want something different. And if I do, they might change just because of me. And I don't want that. I don't ever, ever in my life have I ever advocated people changing for me? And I hate that so much. It is one of the biggest and utmost things that I hate to see happen. Because there's only one you, and there's such a special thing about it. And I just want them to stay the way they are. But if they don't have the things that I want outright, and it feels out of character for them to have it, it's not worth it, you know? It's not worth changing them. We just weren't meant to be. I think we both kind of understood that a little while after. I don't like that it happened. But I didn't want her to change either. I didn't want myself to change. I think overall that's pretty much a win. But only time will tell on that. And as far as thing goes, I mean, I'm looking. I'm looking for another relationship, honestly. I really am. I'm being optimistic about it, but I can't help being pessimistic about it, you know? It just kind of sucks. And that's what I've been dealing with. Pretty much. <laughs>